studio in South Florida, Twist Gaming. Featuring lead broadcaster, Matt Coza. Co-host and creative genius, Josh Perry. Co-host and interviewer extraordinaire, Anne Lazito. Co-host and marketing mogul, Aaron Murphy. With appearances from special guest, Lucy. Welcome to Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. Good evening, everyone, and welcome! This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us! We're just passing stuff behind Dan today. Uh, so before we go any further, let us do some introductions. As usual, I'm Matt. I'm Ann. I'm Josh. And we are... Say it, Ann. I'm like still in between mute and not because the dog. Twist gaming! <laughs> Your arms are gone, Ann. It, Lieutenant Ann, you ain't got no arms. <laughs> Uh, welcome, though. This is Twitch Plays Madara, where we do an ongoing campaign of Madara, the Unintentional Malum Act 1, with you fine folks at home controlling um, a character, rolling some dice with us, buying some loot, blowing some stuff up, and watching Anne die regularly. Joshua, I think it's real rude that you would just pull a chair out from underneath of me. Yep. It's a good thing you've got quads of steel and you're just holding yourself there. <laughs> Um, so before we go any further, though, Joshua, can we have a recap on what happened last episode on Twitch Plays Madara? So last episode, we were trailing after Echo. 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 Uh, and going after her through the swamp, and then we got an encounter with, um, a oh. corpse collector and a tree. Mm -hmm. A grotesque tree. And then we found a lot about her body parts, which mostly I picked up. Anne picked one up, and then she died. <laughs> and then Matt picked it back up. So, uh, we have a couple of her body parts. Uh, I think you have her dagger. Her broken dagger. Yeah, and you've got her bits All and pieces. All I did was pick pieces. up her clothes. You guys are picking up dismembered body pieces. I don't know. Let's, we we decided we needed to collect it. This looks like a tooth. Yeah. <laughs> I could use that. Uh, but, Anne, Josh got you a present. I thought you guys got rid of that. What? Yes, we got rid of that. <laughs> the picture you sent me oh. for stream. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. oh, 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 God, yes. <laughs> we got rid of that. Studio. Uh, this is for you, Ann. I don't understand why, guys. I replaced your book at the moment because your book's flipped, so you can't use it. So, Also, you only have Can half health. Can you trade out a flipped object? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're not? It, it wasn't Restore Adventure? Nope. nope. So you're only at half health. Oh, that <clears throat> sucks a lot. Yeah, it does. Um, do I still... Did my espers make it out? And do they come nope. with me? Nope. You have... Uh, no tokens, no esper tokens. <laughs> you spent them all. No, 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 but my esper, my sword didn't die. They didn't die, but they don't go from encounter to encounter. Are you sure? Yeah, you <coughs> blew your load. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Splooge! Splooge. Uh, so, okay. it's time for us to read you a little story. All you fine people at home. A soul enslaved. A soul enslaved. Anne, are you ready? Ready for Batman? No, I was... Echo! Zephyr led the way into the cave, holding a glowstone high over his head to light the way. Echo, where are you? His voice reverberated strangely off the stone walls. Nightingale followed close behind. She had been inside a few caves before, back on Earth. This one was similar, but more impressive than any of those, uh, the ones she had explored. Haven't we been in many caves? We've been in a shitload of caves. <laughs> we were in a mine, which I, is caves. I know. We are professional spelunkers at this point. Okay. But yeah. Lady Gun's only been in a few caves before, on Earth. Yeah. <laughs> it had, she's got a bad memory. <laughs> it had huge round spaces carved by years of running water with occasional pools of crystal clear water reflecting up at her from near the floor. 
Most of the rock was pale, though thin veins of sparkling black rock ribboned through large sections. The ceiling over their head was spiked with numerous stalactites, some of which grew long enough to form thick columns. Compared to the monsters and muggy heat of the swamps, the caves were quite peaceful. The buzzing of insects had been replaced by a steady, rhythmic dripping of water. It might have been relaxing, were they not hunting a dangerous killer. Echo's voice split the calm. I'm over here. The shout came from close by. Ahead of her, Zephyr ducked under a low overhang, vanishing from sight. Nightingale followed behind him, weapon ready. She had to duck through the rough tunnel until the ceiling widened again and she was able to get to her feet. She came out in a large column chamber, uh, ringed along the outside with stone columns and rippling walls, 40 feet high. Is there no ceiling? Because I thought we were in a cave. I, I, it just it, The cave got really tall. Yeah. I mean, it says, it says ceiling. It says ceiling right there. It widened again. Oh, okay. Echo rested on the other side of the room, beside a little pool of water, collecting underneath a particularly impressive stalactite. The water itself had been tinged slightly pink with blood. So have we gone really far underground if there's like, a 40-inch room? Because like, we were... Because yeah, this is like the room from Lord of the Rings, where the troll is. The Mines of Moria? Yes. And this is the part where Matt knocks over the bucket. You found me! <laughs> I'm not Pippin. Or is it Mary? 100%. Yeah, I think Pippin it was... Pippin. Which... Pippin or Mary knocked over the bucket? Josh, you're Samwise. <laughs> I dropped a new Eve, sir. Echo said, watching from across the room as Nightingale's friends came in from the darkness behind her one at a time. Echo didn't sound angry. If anything, she sounded worried and afraid. You shouldn't be here, Zephyr. Charon's power is always close. If he makes me have to fight you, you should turn around and leave. Get as far away from me as you can. Echo was resting upright against a large boulder. There was fresh stitches all over her body, poking through new rips in her clothing. If the mysterious Esper could heal es Echo's injuries as fast as she took them, how could Nightingale hope to beat her? A tinge of fear ran through her at the thought. I can't do that! Zephyr didn't draw his sword, but he did begin walking across the room towards Echo. I can't let Sharon escape. Too many of our friends died to trap them here. I owe it to them to make sure their death meant something. Echo winced, lurching to her feet. She drew both daggers with shaking, unwilling hands. Get out! She screamed, tears streaming down her face. I don't want to hurt you, but I can't fight it much longer. When the soul sitter returns, I'll be forced to fight. Zephyr stopped walking a safe distance from her. He stood for a moment and stared, then spoke, his quiet, his voice quiet but firm. I'm not leaving! How could I? I still love you. Echo screamed as tears fell down her cheeks. Stop it. She cried. You need to leave. Please. It'll make me kill you. The air above her ripped violently. The space cut open like a thin fabric. The horrifying esper emerged in the air above her, a mere suggestion of a robed figure. Nightingale could see only swirling energy within, except for the pair of terrible eyes. One darted around, fixing on each of them in turn. The other seemed only to see Echo, and never wavered from where she stood. Glowing threads wrapped around Echo's neck, her arms, her hands. I know you, Zephyr continued. You want to stop Sharon as much as I do. You wouldn't have fought by my side to trap him if you didn't. Let me take the Pontifex. Let me take this burden from you. I, I can't stop it. Echo screamed as the creature behind her tugged on the glowing cords, yanking her forward. She stumbled a few steps before looking up with a wide grin. I'm sorry, Zephyr. I'm so sorry. I know. Zephyr drew his sword, raising it into a high guard. I'm going to free you, Echo. Continue to Echo and the Stitcher, page 343. Is that like a sitcom? That's the it's the encounter map. It's actually the new Disney Channel original movie. Ah. Oh, you didn't put the map on this one. On the map, 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 on the map. I need map. an idea. 
Lego Udeme. Inside of the dark cave, the soul stitcher vanishes, disappearing out of sight. However, Echo doesn't look scared that her Esper isn't around. In fact, she doesn't look any less prepared to fight to the death. Win conditions! Echo is defeated. Lose conditions! All adventurers are defeated. Not just Anne. Eating chicken. Uh, Alright, so we've got some special encounter rules. You want to hear them? Yeah. That was funny. Wait, wait. This is the new encounter name. Lilo Read and it. Stitcher. That's what I was going for with my new Disney Channel original movie reference. So I'm glad Shad Owner got it. You're awesome, Shad Owner. BFFs. Pow. Uh, Echo and the Stitcher continued. Special encounter rules Echo, Cosmic Marionette. During this encounter, use Echo's initiative and intelligent combatant cards. Didn't Anne say that it wasn't a marionette? She called it a necromancer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Validation feels I good. It wasn't... <clears throat> when chicken God, defeats chicken. you, it's a win-win. It's like when you hit a chicken in uh, Legend of Zelda games. Then it just kills you. <laughs> yeah. Multiple, repeatedly. You gotta hit it a lot. Or in Skyrim. If you hit a chicken in Skyrim. They'll do the same thing. The chicken doesn't kill you, but everyone in the town is just like, oh my god, we need to kill this guy. <laughs> in Fable, you feed baby chickens to a door. Fable was good. I, I, I like that game a lot. It's been a while since I played yeah, it. Fable but... and Fable too. The series is pretty good. Yeah. Um, so, uh, during this encounter, use Echo's initiative and intelligent combatant cards. Cornered, after setting up the initiative track, move Echo's initiative card to the back of the initiative track. She is only mortal. Remove all objective tokens from the previous encounter from an adventure, uh, adventurer cards. From adventurer cards. So the tokens we picked up last time. Each adventurer who had an objective token at the end of the previous encounter starts this encounter with courage. Hey, uh, I get courage. You cur courage, Matt. Yay! So you want to get the courage out? Um, no, you can go fuck Do you like the mustard, the courage, mustard? I'm not a big fan of mustard. More of a ketchup person. Okay. Or relish. I do like relish. Was, do you relish in it? I was watching the Pirates of the Caribbean series with the kids today, and in it, um, Jack Sparrow says that the French invented mayonnaise, and now I really want to know if that's true. Probably. I'm pretty sure that is true. Spicy mustard is underrated. I'm not. I don't like. The, I don't like nasal stuff. Like I don't like wasabi, I don't like mustard, I don't like horseradish. Hey, it's hi, true. huh? Spain and France. Yeah. Um. Each adventure who had two or more objective tokens at the end of the previous encounter. That's you, Josh. Yep. You get courage and haste. Yeah. That sucks. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe her parts are magical. And this is connected to the soul sister. For each figure that had no objective tokens, they start with Wilt. And not Chamberlain. Oh, wait a second. What? Loyal Esperance will persist between the counters and are only removed from the board if they are defeated or if the adventurers are instructed to restore. Oh shit, Josh! The old rules or the new give rules? Give me my Elfie. You just got what? F in the A, Josh. Put that on Ant's character. Yeah. You have both of them in. I think we played that wrong. A summoner may also never have more than one loyal esper under their control on the board at the time. I don't think we were supposed to have both of them. Are you looking at Some the new rules or the old rules? May I'm looking at the rule book that I downloaded the page for, which I think is the old one. Why? I think Joshua is I think what Josh is getting at is we've been playing off of the rules as written in his book. Yes. Um, and this doesn't D1, say anything so, about limits or anything? 
This is on page 69, Joshua. Yeah, I'm on page 69. <laughs> so it sounds like that's an updated thing, Ann. So that's the so new way of doing it, but we've been playing with old rules. Okay, so do the old rules say that they still go away, or is Joshua just saying that? It doesn't say anything about that. It does not exclude oh, it or declude it or exclude it. Declude. declude. No, declude. I think that's good. So then it sounds to me like they were just clarifying a rule that already existed in the first one and that I should have my experts. I'll take that, Ann. You can have your espers, and Thank because you. the current rule book doesn't state whether or not you can have more than one, then we'll assume that you could have two. I also didn't use a summon token to get my second one, so I'm not 100% confident on that one because I used that in the book of use, Didn't you use your summon tokens to do your level two? So you had to use both of your tokens because it cost two. Right. And then you used your book for the other one, so you're out of tokens. I feel like that's literally what I just said. I thought you said the opposite. I thought you said you had a token left. No, I said okay. that I used my tokens for the one, and that I used the Badman's Book of Baddies for the second one, because in this rules, they talk about not having more than one at the same time because of spending tokens. So I don't know if because I used Badman's Book of Baddies, if it circumvents the rule about having multiple esters under your control. Because it says in here that there are special rules that allow you to have more than one at the same time. I just sent you the rules that's in the rule books that are so much shorter than the ones you have. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Solstitcher. Echo is backed by a large Esper. The creature's abilities may instruct you to put a figure on the initiative track. While here... Oh, it actually clarifies the Solstitcher's thing here? While here, these figures are trapped in a hostile dimension. We read it in the last one. We, we missed that part of the last Oh, did we? Because it was like all the way at the end. At the end of each round, they are dealt a green die of magic damage. Any adventurer trapped in that dimension may make an encounter action to make a perception plus lore 15 check to find a way out. They may not use abilities or take any other actions while on this card. When the trap figure passes the encounter action or the soul stitcher is defeated, or when the soul stitcher is dealt 15 or more damage in a single round, place the trap figure adjacent to the soul stitcher. It is the trap figure's turn. If it is a trap figure's turn and their turn, figures using intelligent combatant cards roll a black die. When Echo would because be not only am I good at dying, I'm also good at getting trapped by the soul sister. <laughs> when Echo would be defeated for the first time, read the following hidden text. So, you know, that's coming. So we should probably take out the soul sister first this time too. Uh, uh no hold on. Yeah, you don't spoil it, Josh. And give me a magic phrase. Abra Kadabra. Timey Wimey. There we go. So if you look on the board here, we got uh, me and Rook and Nightingale and Remy and the one Esper and then Mr. Sword and then Echo. And that's it. Okay? Cool. Where's the soul stitcher? Where's uh, the put him? He's taking Did him out. He's, uh, he's hanging out somewhere. He's he disappeared. in that's a different part of the cave. Said. Yeah. So who do you think? Crochet his own hand. Uh, you gotta put the uh, aspers in. Did he put his old own ham in? Did he crochet his own hammock? Ah, uh, he had Echo crochet the hammock for him. Ah. Uh, okay. I mean, but he did it. Uh, is it it's a marionette? Is it is it technically him doing it? Yes. Okay. Just a very complicated way of doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think's up first? Uh, Rook. And? Rook. It's Elfie! Here, put it on that side, Josh. Who do you think's up second? Rook. Rook. It's Zulfikar! <laughs> Esper's first. Why did both Esper's go first? This Who do you think's up third? Good. Rook. Zeke! Who do you think's up fourth? Rook. Nightingale. Rook. I can't get that one. Who do you think's up fifth? Rook. Rook. Rook! Who do you think's Rook. up next? Rook. Rook again! Remy! Who do you think's up last? Closer. Where was that tile supposed to be? Rook. You just knocked it. Third time. Uh, bottom corner. Right yeah. Echo! Cinco de Echo? S yes. Cinco de Quattro. <laughs> this, is actually, 
a really good lineup, considering that Elsie is the support um, Esper, and having all of us going before Echo, we we really kind of lucked out here. So well, Echo was supposed to go last anyway. Yeah. Uh, Matt, can I have some SP tokens, please? Yep. <clears throat> the only upsetting thing, really, though, is the fact that she's so far away. She's so far away, and I don't think anyone's going to be able to get to her, so I can flank. I don't. Th your espers don't move that far, right, Anne? You can run. Run, run so, so far, far away. away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I Gotta get away. Dun, 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 dun. Why? For the espers. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I opened up uh, the image for the espers on my screen, and it went made the screen go black. And I was like, "Oh my god, what did Josh break?" <laughs> so I'm admitting to you that that's not a nice thing to think, but that I did anyway. So oh. what elevation is she on? Uh, she is on elevation three. And uh, that's elevation one on the other side. Yes, it's elevation one all around her. Okay, so she has the high ground. Yeah. Anakin. Oh, let's go over her card quickly first. Uh, so, Echo has cos see, Cosmic Marionette. Uh, otherworldly intuition. The first time each turn that Echo is attacked, dodge. If the attack misses, immediately end the current action. Then Echo moves up to six spaces towards the furthest opponent within movement range. This movement does not provoke break attacks. Then make an attack against an adjacent opponent. Is there an opponent adjacent? Make an attack, follow up, deal a purple die of magic damage, and inflict wilt, darkness, and disease. Force 13. Uh, continue down. Are there at least two opponents within sphere of influence? Echo has at least 15 damage, and the ability has not been used. Cast a spell 6 against all opponents within sphere of influence. Deal a purple die of magic damage, and Echo heals equal to damage dealt. Can Echo move? What move is toward the default um, sphere of influence? 4. Can Echo move? Move okay. towards the nearest opponent, then make an attack, follow up. Condemn. Force 13. Continue down. Is there an opponent within Sphere of Influence? Cast a spell 6 against all opponents within Sphere of Influence. Inflict, inflict Darkness. Shields give her plus 2. Uh, stars heal her 3. She's got a Conviction of 2 greens, a Casting of green. She's got 40 health, 13 defense, 6 movement, 2 armor, and a Combat die of blue and green. Is there any way to get up to where she is? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, I want to be... Can you fly? Where the people are. I guess Anne could. Besides Anne. Um, what, what does it matter? What does it matter besides Anne? Anne's all that. Uh, Anne is all you need in these times, uh -huh. these troubling times. All Anne's you need box. is Anne. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. So does the cliff wall What's count as an obstructing point for you? No. Did she jumped down and she was up against the cliff wall. No. Oh, was that Anne? I, I think I was asking something along the same lines as Josh, which is like, can you kite her out? Like her movement with her with her combatant card, can you get her to come off of that ledge? Yeah, because she goes after like the furthest opponent or something. Yeah. Yeah. So she so she'll come down. Yeah, she'll jump down. But it means that she'll have a turn before we can hit her. Pretty much. Uh, Nightingale can blow her up. What? That's your Nightingale can pew pew. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, how does how do Gorshot and those other spells? How are they impacted by elevation change? Uh, since she's at the edge, she's in line of sight, so she's fine. But she can get hit. That's right. I think you remember that. Yep. Okay. If she was inside on the is, cliff, then we wouldn't be able to get her. But range is attacks. Is there a certain work. elevation change where being on the edge means even if you're on the edge, you're, you're not within light of sight? Like if, if you're five elevations higher, are you no longer within no, line of sight? You're, you're always so on line of sight up? as long as you're at the edge. Okay. And it's your turn. Well, it's El okay. Elfie's turn. Yeah, I just fixed the socks in the Google Drive, and I feel real proud of myself. Also, you guys, fixed your socks in the, the Google Drive? Now. Yeah. What? Um, they're no longer ankle socks. Now they are knee-high socks. It took me a real long time, but I think I finally figured it out. Did you knit them with a marionette yourself? Why is this opening dumb, though, now? I don't know. I just want to zoom in. Why are you zooming to the corner? That's stupid. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Nobody! You could remove Wilt from someone. Who's got... You have Who Wilt, and Twitch has Wilt. 
Why do I have Zilch? Because you didn't have a piece of Echo's gear on you at the end yeah, of the round. Yeah, because you died. I took it off your body, so I got the bonus. Thanks. This does not surprise me at all. Um, yeah, Elfie starts with three SP. Let's do Soul Clear and get, who else has Wilt? Twitch. You and Twitch. And what does Wilt do? Uh, it is a passive ability, which is right. when determining damage, roll a black die for each shield rolled. Add plus one irreducible damage. So every time you get hurt, you get a black die of extra damage. Um, I was considering removing it from me, but I think that Nightingale is probably more of a ranged character and out of harm's way. So I think I would get the damage. So I'm going to, sorry, Twitch, I'm going to remove that from me. Okay. Anne, are you a crab? I think. Because you're being pretty shellfish right now. Oh my god. Remind me to tell you this dad joke that Aaron said the other day. It's super long ago, so I'm not gonna tell it now. And I forgot it. I just it was, it was <laughs> Okay. <good. laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh one SP left. You gonna do anything else with her? Uh, no, she said one SP, I'm gonna keep it. You gonna move her closer? What so that she can be the tank? Like what are you so and she's if, behind somebody, right? How much armor does Echo have? Two. So if she's within if allies within SOI, so Twitch needs to be six spaces away, and if she's four spaces away from Twitch, Twitch will do two extra damage with each core shot. Why? Because she's got the ba bag full of, no, 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 because she's got, yeah, because she's got the bag full of organs. Yep. So Elsie has an ability, so that you might know, and everybody at home, called bag full of organs. But actually, do you have her card? Yep. Uh, maybe you can give it to Matt to put up in the thing. What kind of organs are they? Like the instruments. Um, like the big ones with the big brass pipes. <laughs> when an ally within Fear of Influence deals final damage greater than zero, they deal additional physical damage equal to the target's armor value. So if Echo has two armor, um, then that's what Josh was saying, that they would, then Nightingale could do an additional uh, two points of damage, but that also means that I have to put Elfie with, oh, it's the ally's SLI. Yeah. Okay, let's back this up. So then Twitch needs to be within six. Does Twitch still have Hemlock and Spear? Yes. Yeah. So the, the question is, well, Gorshot, since it's added physical damage, is the armor just going to block it out? Yes. So it doesn't matter. For that. Yeah, it doesn't matter for Gorshot. Why? Because it's, you add physical damage, but because Gorshot does no physical damage, any added physical damage uh, gets affected by armor. So it's actually it's really good sense. for when I start to attack her. When he ignores armor from flanking. Then I'll explode her. Then he'll do two extra damage each so, time. Or for everyone else that hits her. Then let's... Keep Elsie there for now because she's not going to do any additional good okay. this round. Yeah, and she could she could position herself next round because none of us are gonna, really going to be able to hit her this round anyways because she's got the high ground. So what are you going to do with your sword? Your spirit blade. Mr. Sword. It's like Mr. Uh... Fish. Mr. Fish. Okay, I don't know why it won't just do in, in freaking Google Drive. That's very annoying. Um, All they can do is move, really. Yeah, and I mean, we should get him out of the way. <clears throat> oh, you don't like to leave yourself standing in front of people's paths? You can put him in the hindrance train. It doesn't <clears throat> bother him, but it will give anyone attacking him a negative one to their rolls. Where is the hindering terrain? Here, there's two hindrance terrains. I'm either the one closer to you, Matt. Under the muck. One, two, three. Right. I'd do the one under the muck. Four. What are you talking about? That's a piece of muck right there. What are you right? talking about, Willis? But this is muck. I said I would do the one right under the muck. You mean the one I pointed to? You pointed to two of them. Yeah. The one closer to you. That that actual space. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> amok, amok. Ann, what are you doing? Amok, amok, amok. Why would you put him there, Joshua? Oh. Because it's kind of out of the way for everyone else to kind of run by. 
Uh, it's a little bit further back. How is that further back? It's closer to Echo. Yeah, that's what I. So, what benefit is it if I'm closer to Echo and she's going to move and attack? It's putting him. <laughs> you said pudding. You know. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter between the two. But that, I don't know, it just doesn't make. Sword has, so or, sword has the spear blade has flight and resistance physical damage. The first time each turn Zalfakar is attacked, we get to dodge with plus two shields. If the attack misses, Zalfakar may immediately end all actions, move up to three spaces, and make a melee attack. So yeah, his his little ability is kind of cool. That's fine. You can you can put him there in the spot that Joshua so desperately wants to make sure that the sword goes into. This one, Josh. Sure. <laughs> is it? Uh, all right. Is that all Mr. Sword's doing? Yeah. All right. Next up is... Zeke. Zeke. Zeke, Zeke, Zeke. Zeke the meek. Zeke, Zeke. It rhymes with freak. Um. All right. So I'm going to spend one SP and I's going to move. And I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, the six, exact six seven. Thing. Yeah. And... Eight. I'll go here. Okay. And then I'm gonna throw Ezra at her. Oh, purple die. Oh, is what? is uh, Elfie in spear view or no? Are you in the bag of organs? Soi. Is are you within Elfie's spear? So if she no. moves a little bit, will she stab you? Spear. Spur. Um, actually, let me go and hinder. I I don't care about the hindrance terrain, right? Oh, it's gonna cost you two spots, two movement to move out of it. But it's fine. She's gonna move closer to us, anyways. Yeah. So I'm gonna go there, and then I'm in El Elfie's sphere of influence, and that adds plus two. So you'll actually do damage. Uh, if your yeah. final damage is greater than zero, yeah. So don't roll a two. Seven. All right. So I'm going to do nine or seven damage. You're going to do seven damage. Yeah, because it, it basically ignores the armor yeah. as long as you do any damage. So, okay. Why? So, Why are you doing that amount of damage with Ezra? Because uh, I know we, we've only really played one battle round with Ezra, so maybe we oh, should touch on that. Yeah, so I've got this uh, companion card here, and it is Ezra, and it is I can flip him to throw him uh, for a purple die. Um, you just throw our teammates at first. I'm pretty sure it's a knife. No, it, I mean, it doesn't I, say that. It says throw. Ezra, <laughs> throw. I'm throwing Ezra. Thank you, Merrick's Bob. And uh, I can spend two SP as a passive ability to unflip him. He gets flipped over. He's like a turtle. You just eat him. Yeah. You, have to, you have to get yeah. him off his back. I, I yote Ezra. Uh, Do you think that he's like, is he, is he full grown man size? He's ginormous. He Remember like... his little mini that like took up like half the board? No, his cape, was, oh, that his cape was that big. Yeah. Is that what gives him the better projector? N that's how you throw him. I grab onto the cape and then I spin around like oh, Mario. You Mario. Yeah, I Mario him. <laughs> um, so I did seven damage, and because it's not an attack, she's not going to do anything else. Yep. Okay. Uh, so that's the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, that was pretty nice. Is Nightingale. Okay. Uh, where oh, he they... turns into a throwing knife, and it takes two SP to recall him. Oh. So he's a shapeshifter. To, to remember him? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have to really concentrate. Who was he again? You saw him. Every time you, you throw him, you, he, his memory of you is gone. Exactly. Oh, goodness. So, chat, what would you like to do with your turn? Uh, um, how, where can they keep you? One, two, three. Three, four, five, six. So Diagonal works for counting the line of sight. One, so. two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. I don't even have to get that close. No. Go here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So they need to move two spaces. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So they need to move two spaces forward. If they and stand behind you? 
Is that line of sight? Yeah. It, okay. I think that's a decent spot to be. Because then I serve as a buffer? Yeah. That's a good idea. And if, like, they get attacked, like, she's going to be, like, next to everyone, so... Yeah, so they move for free. Yep. They doom break? Doom break! So, chat, we are going to need... How do you have this Fakakta desk set up? What did you do to my... my... <laughs> Nothing. It was not on this angle before. I might have got hit at some point, but I did not angle it. You angled the dangle. I like how he said I may have hit it at some point, but I didn't adjust the angle. It stayed stationary. I just I smashed it. into it and left it. I didn't I didn't change it for my usage. Except, you know. I took the in the dark and it flung across the house, but it remained in the same angle. Just because the positions changed. I mean, yeah, that's technically true. Uh, oh. I don't think it matters for magic. Magic. I think that's only for a ranged attack. So they have four SP then. Or five SP. Four. Four. They don't have haste. Do they have haste? Doesn't something of theirs give them haste? Yeah, the new Hi. the new brooch, right? The what where is that? The, bro uh, the, the brooch. Core. Yeah, it says you have haste. So right, they do so have haste. Five. Hurst. And also has haste. I want haste. Yeah. The only one without haste. This sucks. Hate it. Hate, I just hate it. You, I hate it. I hate it. You had a flip ability. You used it early. God forbid. You blew your load too quick, Matt. Uh, that's what they all say. Joshua, what is your intention? <laughs> okay, so they're at max SP then. Okay. Not pew pew? So, yeah, it's time to to pu 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 so they need to roll a red die, and Echo has a conviction of two greens. Dos verde, Josh. Say it. Dos verde? Yeah. Anne? Javier Bardem is in the last part of the Caribbean, and I had Michael was like, why does he say his name so funny? And I had to explain to him. I was explaining to him the J in Spanish. I think this is uh -huh. a reroll. Yeah, that's a reroll. Okay, so we're going to tap your dress. Tap your dress, girl. And we're going to have you re-roll that red die. Can't tap it, Josh. There's actually exhaust tokens in that's, that bin. That dumb you smell. Um, I have a hard time understanding Javier Bardem. That last part of the Caribbean movie, I, I had a rough time understanding what he was saying. <laughs> Because he's Spanish, like from Spain, and they speak with like a lisp in their accent, so yeah. it's, it's not like the, the the South American, Central American Spanish that we're used to. I refer yeah. to it as Spanish. They rolled a five, so that's a hit. That is a hit. Uh, so they're gonna spend one health yep. to do five damage. Which one was the last? Uh, Dead men tell no tales. Dead men have no tails. <laughs> they cut them Dead off. Dead men tell no tails. They're supposed to be doing another one. I'm very surprised. I thought they were rebooting the franchise. So I guess Jerry Bruckheimer is supposed to be part of this project, and the last thing he said in March was that they were finishing the script. So the first time Echo is attacked, does that count as an nope. attack? Nope. Magic, attack. Magic skills are not attacks. Okay. So weird. It's interesting. Um, Can't so counter magic. Let's pew again. Pew, pew, pew. Make my heart go. Spew, spew. <laughs> my, my super, super gore. Girl. Super gore shot girl. There you go. Yeah. This corn with my dinner, I'm pretty sure. Look at the steam in the bag corn. I'm pretty sure it's like 50% butter. I like corn. Ugh. That was a poopy doop roll. So they're going to tap their spear here. Get, Get a, token a token on it. I wonder what's inside the token. Pew again! Gatling shop. What? Batman shop? Gatling belt. <gasps> Robert Pattinson got COVID, and so they're suspending the Batman filming. Oh, that sucks. I saw a yeah. uh, thing. It was from uh, 2008 Trivia Pursuit. It said, which one of these actors did not play Batman? And Ben Affleck was the actor that was not played Batman. Yeah, I, I've seen that before, too. <laughs> okay, so they missed again. 
some crappy rolls. Um, I tried to watch Birds of Prey last night. And? I Putting how it bluntly, you, it's... How are you watching it? Uh, it's on HBO Max. I have that, I think. Uh, spoiler alert, it's, it's fucking there. terrible. Like, I, really? I like superhero movies. In general, like, I could deal with them being good or bad. Oh, we they actually hit this time. Yep. Uh, so, five more damage. They're going to use their blood ring to heal. Yeah, yep. that's... So that's supposed to be Sel that's supposed to be the three, right? It's supposed to be Poison Ivy, Selena, and Harley. Uh, I have no, no idea. But Birds of Prey has like hot girls and stuff in it. Yeah, it's it's the Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of Harley Quinn. But I tried, I tried. Like I was like twenty minutes in, and I'm just like I need to turn this off. It was it was bad. Not bad. It was bad. There is an extensive scene about her fawning over an egg sandwich. Okay. They got 78% on Rotten oh. Tomatoes. Is it as bad as the third Spider-Man movie? Oh, I like the third Spider-Man movie. I would, I totally like that. Like, i watch that again, no problem. It tries to be dead. Well, so Harley Quinn, Black Mary, Huntress. So you're you're the comic book left. nerd, Matt. Like, I go to you for my nerdy comic book stuff. Yeah, I not, I couldn't do it. It was, I don't know if I was just not in the right mindset, but it was bad. What, Josh? They get one more gore shot? Yes, they have one more gore shot. Thank you. And now they're out of SP. And how much health does Echo have? Uh, 23. I don't know Echo about you. Echo and Black Mary were the first two. What was that? Barbara Gordon, Batgirl, and Black Canary. Ah. Uh. Were the first two in Birds of Prey. Awful, awful roles. Really terrible roles. Yep. Um, so that's nine against 12? Yeah. That's bad. All right. I'll clear that away. <clears throat> they could do their ambitious. Yeah. I don't know if it's worth it. Okay. Up next Rook. Rook. Uh, who needs some courage? Not me. I'll give courage to Remy. Remy, 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 Remy. Get a courage token, please. Remy. How do I get the courage to the sword? You are brave, sword. You are a brave, sword. I blame the elevation. Doesn't do anything but share. Right. I'll take it. I feel like that's a fair and then excuse. I'll cast barrier on. You know what else is upsetting, Ann? You and McGregor. Was the the bad guy in Birds of Prey? Mm -hmm. I guess like, Barrier Obi on Anzu. was the bad guy. Obi Wan, yeah. Uh, Barrier, please and thank you. Is he a bad guy in anything else? Um, I feel like yes. Can you move me eight spaces closer to her? You were here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There. Um, what's who? Who does she target? Adjacent to opponents within sphere of influence. Can she move? Attack the nearest opponent. So, so it would be you. She'll attack me where I'm at. Yeah. Okay. I can move two more spaces closer if I want, but I don't know if I. Want I don't to. think you need to. Okay. Pretty sure he plays Zaz, Victor Zaz. That's the end of my turn. <clears throat> Remy. Remy. What are you doing, Remdog? Remdog. Remdog millionaire. Don't hurt yourself. All right. I have nothing ranged. I'm going to try and not die this time. That's are, my goal. Are you sure? Mm, you know, I figured I would try something new this time. Yeah. And not dying sounded like uh, the right way to go. So what are you going to do? Act a fool. I can't. I mean, I guess I should just be getting close. So I have four. One, two, three, four, five, six. You stack everyone in I want to be to the no. northwest of the sword. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Yes, she does attack everyone with an SOI. Uh, I'm the only one in SOI right now, right? That's after she moves and attacks. This is the nearest oh. opponent. Okay. So what's her movement range? Her movement. So hold on. Do you want to move two more spaces than Josh? Yeah, let's move me a little bit closer. Let's do that. Spares us a little bit. Yep. Okay, sorry. Go ahead, Ann. Uh, so yeah, what's yeah. her movement then? Like, what just happened? Uh, so we moved Josh a little bit closer. Her movement's six, but it's because her attack flow is she's going to attack the nearest opponent and then hit everyone within Sphere of Influence. So by isolating Josh, it spares us all. So she's probably going to move up one up, one north, and one to the east? No, she's just going to move one east. Yeah, because you can attack on the diagonal. Where? I can't see. There! Diagonally! Sneaky move, Fifth. Sneaky move, Echo. And then that'll be one, two, three, four. So that gets everybody on the floor. Near sword and no longer in SOI. Yep. One, two, two three. three. So you can stand next to Z. One, two, two three, three, four. four. That's, that's fine. Yeah, just move me down by Zeke. Man's going down. There you go. <laughs> You're dumb. I know. So dumb. Okay, so then that puts me down at 3 SP, and I can't do anything, so I will bank those and be at full SP next round. That's fair. Okay. Next up is. Echo. 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 Is there an opponent adjacent? Nope. Is There's there no two here. opponents within Sphere of Influence? Nope. Uh, can Echo move? Yeah. Move towards the nearest opponent. Eh. Then make an attack. Does she make that noise when she jumps off? Yeah. Eh. So she's going to roll. I the fear and his big mouth are during this whole battle. He's taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> so chat, please roll. We have a blue and a green. He's crying in the corner because he can't hurt his girlfriend. I mean, she she is asking for it. Mm. <laughs> uh, Doctor Sleep, yeah. Doctor Sleep is the follow up to The Shining. He plays Danny Torrance in that movie. You're talking about Ewan McGregor. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm way too tired for this tonight, but want to drop in and say good luck. Thank you, video game boy. Hello. Go get some sleep. Thank you. Hope you had a nice weekend. I think it's so lovely that you made sure to, like, like you're tired and you took a moment out of your day to come in and pop in and say hello and that you're thinking of us. Like, that's super sweet. Thank you so much. That's more than Anne does for us. So it's a 14. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it beats my defense by two. Okay. Are symbols give her anything? Uh, How many shields does she have? Two. Plus four. So six damage? Yes. I have okay. six armor. I have six armor. Yeah. So I'm going to counter. counter. Yeah. <sighs> Just give me two heal dice. Does this count as you attacking? Yep. Okay. And this is where the counter loop happens, in. I rolled an eight. Oh yeah, I've I've already gone into reading about. I lost Boston my courage sleep because I, you know, we'll check back in. She has thirteen defense. Mm -hmm. Um. Eternity later. Oh, she was supposed to dodge. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, yes. Immediately end the current action. Does she not do it? No, then there's a continue down, so it's not a follow up. Yeah, she would do a continue down. Okay. No, put it, does she, count, put it does she counter me, though? We can all read it together. No. I thought oh. she, she counters. Oh, yeah, she does. I'm sorry, you're right. Then she makes an attack against an adjacent opponent. So we're going to roll a blue and a green. Everybody roll. I'm going to miss so I can do my relentless feign. Your what? My relentless feign. Which is like a what? super counter. <laughs> What if she'd roll an 11? That, that does it. So I get to do this. This is a new skill. Oh, this is a new one you got? Yeah. Josh has Relentless Feign Exhaust. When an attack targeting you misses, end the current action. Then you may spend one SP to do two attacks against your attacker. When you spend the initial SP, you may spend additional SP to make additional attacks against the attacker, equal to the amount of additional SP. I'm spending two SP to do three That's attacks. That's what you were saying. Interesting. Now, mind you, if she hits you back... 
she's going to, or if you miss, it immediately ends your action. Does she dodge again, or only the first time? Uh, the first time each turn that Echo's attack, so she wouldn't okay. dodge again. <clears throat> I rolled an eight. Yeah, you missed. So that ends your attack. Super counter! More like super bad counter. Ha! Garbage dice. All right, so... Um, because it missed, she's going to attack you back. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I read that wrong. What? we got to go back. Unspend your SP. Why? Because she moves six spaces now? towards the farthest opponent. Instead of attacking me, she moves further away? So it's then she makes an attack against an adjacent opponent. So she wouldn't have attacked you. Oh. So she attacked you. You countered. When she dodged your counter the first time, not your super counter, your regular counter, yeah. then she's going to now move six spaces towards the farthest opponent within movement range. Can you put the card up in? So I, I'm confused. Okay. Move six bases towards the farthest opponent within movement range. Uh, okay. Why does it make sense when... I, I, I was confused <laughs> of where it was on the card. In the middle. Sometimes it's easier but I to countered get her. writing than to hear it. Right. I that's not a, it's not a follow-up. It's a okay. So who is the furthest opponent within range? She's got six movement. One, two, three, four... Nightingale, Five. right? It, it would be you, Anne, because she can't reach Nightingale. Boop, 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 boop. There you go. All right, so Anne, she's attacking you. For a blue and a green. You dodging? <sighs> yeah. I'm assuming you're using your cloak to dodge? Or are you um, going to spend an SP to dodge? Uh, oh, I could use an SP to dodge. Okay. And it doesn't matter because I've messed it up anyway. Also, so. she rolled a 10. And my defense is 10. So that's fine. Oh, attacker oh. wins on ties. Yep, attacker wins on ties. But she rolled no symbols, so she does zero damage. And I have two armor. Uh, actually, yeah, plus... Um, I can no. counter. Yeah, you can counter. Okay, if you counter... I was going to say, if you counter and you miss, she's going to try to attack Elfie then. But she also get a break attack. No. She does not provoke break attacks. No. But if I attack her and I hit, then I hit. Yes. I mean, if you roll like Josh does, then odds of you hitting are no bueno. No bueno. And then Elfie's got once per turn dodge with plus two shields. I mean, it's your call. All right, yeah. I do want to counter. Okay. Um, I've got my black ticket. I can use that to counter, right? Yep. Okay, so then let's do that. And I'm going to her. This is the same turn. Defense is a 13. So she's not going to dodge. Okay. Her defense is a 13. I roll two teal dies and a black die. It's so hard to hit. Okay. Just roll better. <gasps> That's 12. No, this is okay. And then I have my thing, so I can reroll the black die and I can reroll the five. Okay. Oh, so you're excited about the seven. Yes. Doesn't matter. What do you roll? Because I re-rolled a five. Wah, wah. Uh, that would have been nice if she stayed there. Okay, so then now uh, then she is I going to... Courage. She's going to move six spaces towards the furthest opponent within movement range. One, two, three, four, five, six. So she just has enough to get to Elfie. Okay, so then she's going to attack Elfie. How much defense does Elfie have? Uh, ten. And Anne rolls for Elfie? 
Yep. Yeah, for her dodge. So she got one shield on her dodge. It cleared out. I don't know oh, why. sorry. That was me. Um, so she has one, but it. then she gets plus two. Yep. So it's three. Correct. So the 13 against 11. So that's fine. Okay. Now it's Elfie's turn. Is that the end of Echo's turn? Yeah. Okay. I thought she cast a spell on everyone. You. Oh, no, but it's a continued down. Yeah, you're right. She does. So now, cast a spell six against all opponents within Sphere of Influence. Okay. Everyone but Rook. <sighs> okay. Elfie's fine. Her conviction die are too teal. Um, okay, so spell six. How, how, that's a lot of people. Um, casting is green. So we're going to roll one, two, three, four, five greens. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so everyone roll your conviction. Chat's conviction is what? A blue and a purple, a blurple, if you will. My conviction is hot garbage. <clears throat> I roll two purples. I, I forgot what I rolled for Elsie, so now this is Elsie's new roll. Because... I rolled really well. Wow. Um, so spell six. So what's the order that we do these in, Josh? Let's do it down the initiative track. Okay, Elfie so first. Elfie's first. She rolled into six, which is 12. What was Elfie's conviction, Anne? A six. Six total? Yeah, she rolled two threes. Wow. Yeah, it was two threes. So Elfie now has darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. More like darkness. Darkness is? Minus one defense, and you may not dodge. All right, next up is Mr. Sword. Uh, she rolled a four, so that's a ten. What's Mr. Sword's conviction? Fifteen. Okay, Mr. Sword's fine. Uh, that's all it does is inflict darkness. Yeah. Um, so then next up is me. She rolled a six. That's twelve. I actually rolled a thirteen, so I'm okay. Okay. Uh, next up is Nightingale. Nightingale rolled a... Ten. Ten. She rolled five. five. That's an 11. Uh, they get plus for their books. They don't have enough. They only have one book. Yeah. Um, so they're going to get darkness. They're going to get darkness. Okay. And then finally, we've got Remy. And, and what's your conviction? Did you do Rook? Rook's, Rook's not in Sphere of Influence. Oh. Um, 11, 12, 13. Uh, you rolled a 13. She rolled a 9. Oh, they could use their companion. Their companion gives them a reroll, right? Bray? I have no idea. It's, and they're Gigrin. Uh When determining the force of a spell or making a conviction check, add plus 2 to the roll. Oh, cool. So, so auto plus it. 2, so they pass. So then no darkness. Could use that on one of the gore shots. Yeah. Good thing we didn't. Um, so they rolled a 9 for you, Anne? And she rolled a nine total. Yeah. So you fail. So you get darkness. Um, it's plus six, right? So it's a fifteen, right? Yep. Darkness. Okay. Hello, darkness, my old friend. All right, and that is the end of her turn now. So now it's Elfie's turn. Elfie, yeah, what you gonna do? Up, please. <laughs> what Elfie gonna do? Uh, Elfie has four SP now. So we are going to. Cast Soul Clear on herself. And then, am I within SLI? Yes, you are. Of Elsie? So we're going to cast Soul Clear on myself. Okay. okay. So you just take care of yourself there. What I think is, I'm the one that has immune to darkness right now. Because <laughs> I have my monocle. Let's me see clearly. Now that the rain's gone? Yeah. Is that all Elfie is doing? Oh, yeah, that's all her SP. Yeah, that's all her SP. Okay, so now it's Mr. Sword's turn. Is Sword going to go stabby stabby? Do not go shanking into this good knight. Yeah, then He's only got a movement of four. He can get there with four movement. How? Oh, he ignores Muck. Yeah, he he ignores... He's flying. He, yeah, he can get there with one, four two, movement. One, two, three... 
He only needs to move but three he spaces. Is, Echo's gonna run away again. Right. So he's gonna. We kind of just need to get close to each other, so we're all like next to each we other. We need to ping pong her. Yes. Two teams of two groups. You take turns hitting back and forth. Or if we stand in a circle around oh. her. Yeah. Kumbaya. Go ahead and move him below Elfie. Okay. Can Can the sword get in the flanks position? No, yeah. that's what I was just looking at. He can't. One space too far. I can. We got four. One, two, three, four. Must be nice. Must be nice. Um, it must be nice. And then to have a mobile terrain on your side. Sorry. Onslaught. Onslaught. He could use one SP to move additional spaces. And then I couldn't use onslaught. So what? You more but why not? He should be at, at you should be at and max. He's gonna run away. He should be at max SP, shouldn't he? He only moved last. No, turn. he had one S. Right, so that would have brought him to two. Oh, uh, yeah. Plus three. No, you're right. So what? Like it's not gonna help, right? It's gonna give him For plus him, one to the roll. Get... It's gonna give him plus one to the roll and plus three damage if he hits. Yeah, flanking is very very nice. No, how does he get into flanking? Then one, two. He needs three, to move two four, more spaces. Five. Oh, you want to move him there? Okay, yeah, that's fine. So use two two movement, then you have three left. Okay, that's fine. I'm not throwing away my roll. <laughs> so his combat die are a teal and an orange. Aren't you glad it isn't banana? Banana, banana, banana. Mm -hmm. 12, but he gets plus one to the roll. That's right? just enough. It's a good thing you're flanking. <laughs> I didn't. I hate you. Okay, so he's. Uh, every book and shield combo gives him plus one physical damage. That's plus two damage. Plus three for flanking, so that's five damage. And guess what? He's within the She's got SOI of Bag of Organs, so he does an additional two damage to ignore our armor. So he does five damage. Nice. Okay, and now I get a follow up. Oh, she does um, dodge, though, because it's a new turn. Oh, yeah, sorry. She does dodge. Hold up, Anne. So if she rolls any shields, you're screwed. Roll a skull. Roll a skull. Or books. She can be a bookie. She rolled a... One yeah. shield! No! Okay, you miss. Um, so, because you missed, she's going to run away. One, two, three, four, five. It would be me. Have her go here and attack. Sure. Now, she's in hindrance strain, so that re reduces... So you're in hindrance strain. It's... It's harder for us to hit her and her for us. It's both. It goes both ways. When you're attacking into or out of, it's minus one. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. So she's going to attack. Lil on me. Uh, she rolls a blue and a green. And I'm going to dodge. Dodgy dodge. How about duck? No. Donald. No! I can re-roll. I rolled three books and a shield, so... You do three da magic damage to her. I do three magic damage directly to her. What's her health at? 20. Halfway there. Living on a prayer. Uh, oh. Ooh. Oh, thanks, chat. Oh, 17. Oh. Okay. Right, your defense is 11. Uh, you are flanking her. So that's plus one defense. So that's a 12. So it's beating you by five. Yeah. How many shields does she have? Um, three. Yeah, three. So that's six more damage. All right. So we're at eleven damage. I minus two twice. All right. So seven damage. Oh, hindrance. Sorry. Yeah. So minus one. So six damage. Six damage. Yes. It's a lot. What's my health at? Eighteen. All right. So twelve. Woo! And she heals three because she rolled a star. Ouch, Bibbles. All right. So now it's my turn. Right? Right. Right? Right. Yep. Right. When you're right, right, you're right. And you? You're, you're always, always right. right. 
Is it worth it for me to jump out of the hindering terrain? Uh, since she's in hindrance terrain right now, it's not going to do anything. But if I jump... Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. So I think it's a... M Wait. Never mind, I see what you're saying. It's because it's when she's in hindrance terrain, not me. When you're attacking through hindrance terrain? So I don't know if it's actually minus two the roll. You might take one less damage. Because it's... She's in it, and you're in it. It might be minus one twice. That's diarrhea. Um. Yeah, that's that's crap. I don't want that, Joshua. That no, plus... the cannot be applied more than once. Oh, okay. So you so, lied. I, it, it. You lied. <laughs> All right. So it is my turn now. Yep. So. If you move, you get a break attack. That's the bad thing. That's true. Um. So I'm not gonna move. So first up, I am going to use my blade works. Actually, first I'm gonna spend two SP. I'm do it because if I roll a star, I can actually use it to gain SP. You do a lot of damage with your star, don't you? Three. And you might need to run after her and stuff. I'm okay with this. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm attacking. I am flanking. Flank stake. Ricky Lake. That was a horrible roll map. That was a terrible roll. That was eight. Garbage. Um, I don't want to lose my courage. Uh, do you have anything to help? Yeah, <sighs> my liar's dice. That one's probably counter. Yeah, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna flip my liar's dice. I get to change one die to any result. Wait, 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 wait. So is my book still flipped? Because we weren't supposed to restore adventures, but didn't you use your liar's it's dice? Once per encounter. encounter. It's a once per encounter ability, not a flip ability. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to change that to a 9. So Josh, how about a 14? 14 minus 1 is a 13. That's just enough to hit. I'm also flanking. Oh, you're also flanking, so you get plus 2. Which means I'm beating it by 2. Which means you're beating it by 2. So you're doing it by 4. Uh, plus 5, that's 9. Plus I'm in plus Elfies. Plus another 2 for Elfie. So you got 11. You're welcome. Plus symbols. Uh, so plus 2 from my shield. 14. Oh, plus... Another two from the courage symbols. Yeah. Okay, so 16. And then I'm going to gain an SP. Do I want to do it that way? Or you can use the star for the magic damage and spend one SP and kill That's her. what I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend one SP and I'm going to use the star for three magic damage and then she's dead. Now read us the special text, Matt. <clears throat> uh, Echo hits the floor of the cave with a sickening crunch and crawls towards you, leaving a trail of blood in her wake. Place Echo adjacent to the figure that defeated her in any unoccupied, non-dangerous terrain space. So you can move her out of... Sure. Um... She grasps onto your clothing and shudders as she gargles a sickening laugh. Behind her, the magical threads that keep her bound pull and tug at her flesh as the soul stitcher materializes. Place the soul stitcher so that as many opponents as possible are within its sphere of influence. Remove all damage tokens and negative effects from Echo, then place the initiative card for the soul stitcher as the next card in the current round. Anytime Echo would be defeated and the soul stitcher is still on the board, read the following text below. And she comes back to life pretty much. Yeah, I knew this was coming. So, but now the soul stitcher goes on to the board? Yes. So where does he go? Uh, so he can and place as many opponents within Sphere of Influence as possible. And he's got a Sphere of Influence of four. Yep. So he's going to go here. Are we okay with this? That's fine, man. Okay. So the soul stitcher has... Soul sister? Hey, soul sister. Uh, Astral Surgeon. Astral Surgeon, yes. Uh, so he ignores symbols, which stinks. Uh, all stitched up. Immunity, paralyzed, poison, condemn. Each time he's attacked, he's going to counter with a range 6 attack. 
And he's got 50 health, 13 damage, 0 movement, 0 armor. 2 green casting, uh, for conviction rather, 1 blue for casting, 2 gray dice for combat dice. My turn still. Okay. Let's do the damn thing. Uh, I'm going to tap my false idol and I'm going to use that. Back of the soul stitcher? Yeah. Hey, soul stitcher. Uh, uh, garbage again? I did. I rolled an 11. 11 plus 2. 13. Okay. Oh, you're in hindrance strain. Yep. It's minus 1, so it's 12. Fuck. What's his defense? Oh, wait. I'm in hindrance terrain. I should have moved out of hindrance terrain. God damn it. 13. Okay. So I lose my courage. And he counters. And he counters. All right. Uh, counter range six. So two gray dice. That's awful. And I'm going to dodgy dodge. You don't want to get sucked into the alternate vortex where you take green damage? I'd rather not. You can take me. <laughs> I literally can't fail the check. <laughs> Joshua is the guy with the tinfoil hat out in the cow field. Take me! Yeah. Uh, he rolled a 13. I've got 11 defense, but I rolled four shields on my dodge. Oh, good. So I'm okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to attack again. Not roll garbage. This I I hope I'm gonna change this red die out because I rolled bad on the red die twice. Uh, that's better. that's a lot better. Fifteen. Fifteen plus, plus two. Two minus one. Minus one to so sixteen. Yeah. Beating it by three. Get plus two. Yes. Does he have any armor? No. All right. Plus five for his flank or backstab. Yes, and that's that's okay. all I could do. Okay. So, so ten damage. Ten damage. What's his is armor okay. again? He has no zero armor. armor. He's armorless. I'm sorry, defense. Thirteen. What? And then you got the plus two from Elfie, right? Yep. No, oh, he does get plus two because Elfie only does uh, against. It adds the armor value. How much damage did I do, Josh? Ten. Yeah. Oh, that's right. The same thing. Ten. Yes. Yeah. Okay. How much health did he have total to start with? 50. Fifty. So now he's down to forty. I'm gonna spend two SP that's to attack again. Good. I'm not done. <laughs> Keep rolling, rolling. There we go. That's another a good hit. Another 15. 15, 16. It's going to be the same damage. result as that last time. Yeah. Uh, so now he's at 30. Yeah. I'm going to tap my quick and die. It's my animate roll. Okay, bye. And I roll again. Oh. 12? Oh, 12 plus 2 minus 1, so it's 13. It's just it's enough. enough to hit. Yeah. So you do 5 damage. Yeah. I'm okay with this. And this sucks you because... You did 50% of his health against the Soul Fitcher in one round. Yeah. I want to do more, though. It sucks, though, because... I wanted to... I can't use the star to gain my SP back. Nope. Um, what, does it, what does the text say for him? It says when attacking him, symbols just don't count. Okay. Yeah. Um, Josh, the wording on my glass dagger here. Can I still use it after I throw it? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to throw my glass dagger at him. Okay. Why not, right? Mm. Oh. Three damage. Damn it. Okay. Do you want to throw your other dagger so at him, too? Throw health. everything at him? I don't want to discard. It's a discard. Okay. If it wasn't a discard, then, you know. It was that card? Yeah, okay. exactly, exactly. All right, so that's the end of my turn. I didn't kill him, unfortunately. Now it's his turn. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, so it is the Soul Stitch's turn. Hey, Soul Stitcher! Um, he's going to flip his card over. And it has... Is there no opponent on the Soul Stitcher's initiative card track? There is not. All right. So he is going to cast a spell six against the farthest opponent on the board. Move the figure onto the Soul Stitcher's initiative card. It's Elfie. All right. So he's going to cast. Is it Elfie or is it Brooke? It's Elfie. like right next to him. Yeah. It's Elfie. Uh, so his casting is two green. So Anne, please roll for Elfie. 
Can't top that one time Zeke did 74 damage to that one boss in a round. I think I'm remembering that correctly. Oh, no, you're, you're definitely remembering that correctly. If this guy didn't have his stupid symbol thing, and I wasn't in the, the terrain, I would have hmm. effed him. All right, she gets sucked in. <laughs> Literally. She gets out really easy, though. Um, all right, so then, is there an opponent within Sphere of Influence? Yes. There's a lot of opponents in Sphere of Influence. Cast a spell six against all opponents within Sphere of Influence. Everybody. Except Elfie. Yeah, because she's not on the board. Because inside you she's is inside not in Sphere you. of Influence. <laughs> so, five? Uh, yeah, clearly. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and I roll... Oh, I'm sorry. I rolled the wrong uh, dice. Like, sorry, chat. You're going to have to clear them out because I don't think... No, it's fine. Matt sound effects, best sound effects. I'm glad you understand. Terrible. Wait, is that supposed to be a black die for the Esper? No, to get out, it's the black die for the Esper. Yeah. I think, I think that's what Shadow is asking. Solo. Nope. Just enough space. Uh, okay, so going down the initiative track. First is Elfie. Uh, no, not six Elfie. Dice, Matt. No, oh, sorry. I'll count an echo. Extra. Sorry. Uh, so first up is Zulfikar. So, Anne, I need you to roll for Zulfikar. 15. 15? Uh, 15 for him. Gotcha. They rolled a 14. 15, carry the 3. 15's higher. Yep. Okay, cool. So, Zulf Mr. Sword's fine. Uh, next up is going to be Zeke. That's me. Uh, my conviction is doo doo poo poo, so I'm probably going to get beat up here. Where's purple? Purple dice. It's at the table, I think. The foreteller narration for this game? No, what is that? Uh, it's an it's an app that they do like special narrations for like Gloomhaven. Uh, they did like a prototype for like the first chapter of this, but I don't think oh. Succubus is paying to get it, the rest of it done. I rolled a thirteen. Uh, okay. And they rolled a six. That's a twelve. Okay. I actually passed. Okay. I don't know how. Uh, next up is Nightingale. So Nightingale, I'm going to hold off on rolling you until we finish yeah. because I'm going to get cut off. Yeah. So yours is an 11. All right, I need a green die and a purple die, please. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. I rolled a 12. Uh, against a 12. So it hits. It hits. What does it do? Green die of magic damage. Have to roll a green die. And then last up is going to be R Remy. Oh, I'm sorry. Anne needed to roll. So, Anne, yours is an 11. Anne, what was your roll? Before Rook. Or... I just. I'm after I thought Rook. it was Anne. Oh, I'm sorry. No, sorry. I have it. I keep getting Remy and Nightingale confused. What was your roll, Anne? Uh, 11. Uh, uh, 9 is the roll that's up there. Yeah, so that's against the 15. So. So you're also getting green die damage. Yeah. So Chad has an 11 going against them. Their conviction is a blurple. And then we need two green dice. First one's going to be for Josh. Yep. Second one's going to be for Anne. <clears throat> what do you think they're going to roll? 22. A 9. I mean, very possible. Very, very possible. Oh, they have all of Act 1 up on Fortel? Oh, I think they have. Um, so they did their own audio version of it, and it might be up on the Fortel app. Oh, Fortel did like their. Uh, my a computer version. is randomly shutting down, so it's going to disconnect the GPM. She froze. Cool. All right. No, the computer's shutting down, so it's not that I froze. She I, froze. What the hell? It didn't even say anything. Uh, so I'm thinking five damage and Anne's taking four damage. Yes, and Twitch is getting hit. And they're taking eight damage, Ooh. but halved, because they have magic resistance. That's true. So four damage. Just... We'll see you soon, Anne. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I'm still on the phone. So. Oh. Oh. Okay. So you'll just be a black box for now. Look into yeah, the abyss. Like a... All right. So, so... It's so it just said shutting down. It was bye. Bye. Is uh, there how an... much damage did I take? Four damage. So you're at six health. I'm at six health. Yep. Is there an opponent adjacent to Echo? 
Yes. Let's do. <sighs> okay. Who else is adjacent? You and Remy. Okay, and I'm sorry. You're going. No, home. you can take it. No, 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 no. no. It's you. no damage. You... What happened? Well, no, there is damage. Elfie, but... Elfie went. I just got hit by the green guy. So Elfie went into Soul Fisher. Warp. I an... got hit before. Hold on, hold on. Warp an opponent who is adjacent to Echo, to the farthest space from Echo. <laughs> Um, you have I, the most movement. I guess it's me. Yeah, but then he's going to follow me. So what's the farthest space from Echo? If this he follows here? you, then if yeah. you can get it, then he can get a, he'll get a, uh, I'll get a break attack on him as he goes to chase you, right? No, because he warps. He warps. Oh. Then warp the soul stitcher adjacent to the same opponent. Oh, you're going to be in the muck. I know. It sucks. Oh, you wanted to send me out to the middle of nowhere with the soul stitcher by myself. Yes. So you can die. And then he's going to perform two yep. attacks against me. I might die here. The bo Oh, the board edge counts as an ally. Yeah. Okay. You're flanking him. Oh, I'm, I'm okay with but this. But you're in muck. Uh, but I'm in muck. I mean, you take a step over? Yeah. Or two steps over? Yeah. I'll, One step back? I'll make it work. One hop this time. Fucking rolls too gray, really? Dodging. Okay. I rolled one book, so he's going to take a damage. Yes, because I'm playing, I get plus one defense. It's very true. Thank you, Shadow. He owner. is in hindrance strain, so he gets minus one to his roll. Okay. So I rolled a six and a five. That doesn't hit. Cool. He attacks again, though. I'm going to dodge again. <clears throat> three books and a shield, so I do three damage to him. Oh, it's off that is off. 18. You take him out. Yeah. As long as you live. Yeah. He rolled a 14. Minus one, that's a 13. Mine, uh, so I've got 12 defense plus one 13. So it matches. Right? Right. No, you have 11 defense plus one, 12. He rolled a 13, oh. so he's beating you by one. Beating me by one. Oh, no, but I rolled, I rolled a shield. Oh. So it, it ties. It ties, but yeah. still, symbols do anything? He gets plus one for each book. So two damage, which you ignore. Yes. Because you have one armor, and you yes. have ignore physical damage or something? Correct. So it's physical damage, right? Yes, it is physical damage. Is it ranged, or? It's melee. Melee, okay. So that's it. All right, you're good. Wasn't that bad? Okay, I panicked for nothing. Crap your pants for no reason. I mean, <laughs> it's not the first time that's happened. Um, all right, so next up is who? Nightingale. Yep. Uh, you guys could start hitting Echo. Just don't kill her. Yeah, can they? Can they pew that far away? I mean, I got the soul stitcher. Okay. Hey, soul stitcher. So they're at. 4SP because they have haste? Yeah. Uh, doom break? Yes. So, doom! Break. Do -do 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 doom! So they're at max SP now. Right, right. And we're gonna, it's just Pew Fest 2020? I think so. Alright. Um, until the break of doom! I guess I should probably move up a little bit so you can see what's going on. All right, so, Anne, are you still on the phone? Oh, she's back. Yeah. Oh, there oh, you are. One. Oh, hey. How's it going? Yeah, uh, hey there. Oh, hey. Oh, hi. Well, I got to read. Uh, so they're going to roll a red, and then Echo is Dos Verde. It's like Salsa Verde. Josh, do you like Salsa Verde? No. I know you don't. That's a tomato person. I mean, when you exert yourself, you kind of look like a tomato. <laughs> um, I'm sure Anne would look like a tomato if she wore that jacket. So, oh. oof, they rolled as 13, but up against a 16. Yeah. So they're gonna tap their sword, their spear. their spear, their spear, their spear of influence, 
And they're going to do it again. One more time. Gonna celebrate. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep on dancing. I don't see anything on the side. Is that an open face t shirt, Ann? Is it an open face t shirt? Yeah. So that's a 7, so the 13 against a 14. They've got two counters. I put their... They have two counters, or they can use... I think just spend one of the counters. Because this the Bray is plus question, 2. Question here. What? Does it make sort of sense to let it fail? And then go for a... Uh, once they get their third counter, go for a really strong liquid. Well, they can't get another counter this turn. Not this turn. But, like, they can use that and not use the counters and get the third counter and then do a liquidify, and then they can add plus five to their roll, which could make it really strong. No, oh, I, I think just pew. I'm just... Because then you just still wait another turn to do it, then. Yeah. But, like, I'm, like I mean, next those. turn they'll do it anyways. Yes. Yeah. I'm just saying not use the counters, just use the ability right now. Um, I honestly don't think it's worth it just because you guys are going to beat the crap out of her right now. You don't want, like, you want to bring How much health does she have right now? 40. But you don't want to kill her this round. Because you want the soul sister to die first. <clears throat> exactly. I was about to say before you got teleported over there, I was like, oh, is, you know, isn't it funny that this board is so big and we've only been in this one little area? <laughs> It's a little bit funny. Um, all right, so let's just pew it. Okay. We'll use this SP, so it does five damage. Okay. Uh, they're going to heal one because they're going to use their thing because they're down damage, so they're at 10 health. Okay. Echo triggers at 15 damage. Correct. Oh, 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 wait. I have a, I have a, I have a, I had a question. What's um, that? The soul stitcher. There's a couple of situations in which Elfie gets released. Did you do the damage before Elfie got trapped or after? After. Or before. Soul stitcher went after Matt. Yeah. Ugh. That's a poopy roll. All garbage. Poopy roll. Do do do. Poopy roll. Doo, doo, doo. It's Christmas time in the poopy. I don't think that it is. <laughs> uh, okay, so they rolled A. What did they roll? That's better. That's good. That's that a hit. Is. So they're going to do five more damage. They're going to go down nine health. And they've got an F SP for one more. I would appreciate it if they use their ability. Because I would like some SP. It would make me feel better. You know, if you guys are feeling generous. It would be a waste on everyone else, though. I don't care about everyone else, Josh. I don't know if you haven't picked up on Matt's playstyle yet or not. So 10 against 13. So that's a fail. So they have no more SP, so they can't do anything unless they just happen to... I think they should wait a turn. Waste Well, SP actually, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. They could actually tap Brea and use their last token to hit. Okay. Do you think it's worth it? What do you mean by tap Brea? So they have their Brea uh, companion card, which is you can tap it to add plus two to a roll. A force spell um, or a conviction check. So if they do that, because they're Those down by use their dress either. They're down by three. That's true. They could use their dress here first yeah, to see if they could roll first. roll better. That's a good point. Do you have to re-roll both die if you top stuff? They the, only roll one die. They, they don't. Yeah, die. they only roll the red one. The other two are technically um, the uh, conviction rolls. It's like butter. Chat, shall we save Brea for a conviction? 
five. So one better. So they wouldn't have to use their token on their yeah, spear. They, they would just have to use Brea. Which I think makes sense. Unless they want to save it for a conviction, like Chad Owner's saying. And this is going to get darkness, though, which... Darkness. They're not really getting attacked. Yeah. That is true. I think... I think Brea. I think so. So, five more damage! Cinco, Cinco, Cinco! Cinco, Cinco. She's down to eight health. Okay, activate. With our powers combined, we form... Crapton Planet! And it's Rook's turn! Unless you guys use your ability. Why, Josh? Because it doesn't benefit you? Does it help everyone? It just... It... We don't want to kill her yet, so like her doing more damage isn't helpful. Um, I heal on the beginning of my turn, so I'm at. Josh is very salty. Uh, fourteen. Oh. I You're... could put a nemesis token on someone. I like how you always remember that I, as the fight. The like, Sister just came out. You always do it when the fight's like three quarters of the way done. Oh, should I put it on the Soul Sister or should I put it on Echo now? So my idea was to put it on the soul sister, it, and this is the first time I was able to put it you should, on them. You, can you get to the soul sister this turn? Rook's got a million movement. No, I have to do it with an SOI, but I could get pretty... Well, you're over in the gap. I can't jump. You can go yeet the, the chasm. <laughs> don't you have a permanent plank or something like that now? But you don't no. need to jump it, Josh. You can you can go here and Stand you... Stand there and just be like, yeah, go mad! Yeah, no. exactly. <laughs> Um, I'll put it on Echo because I can't. There's no point in me doing it from over there. I mean, there is. It would be plus one damage to each of my attacks. You got it. You're good. He's only got 22 health left. How Can't you kite him away, Matthew? What? Huh? Can't you bring him closer to us? Why would I want to do that? All right, uh, Matt, move me next to uh, Echo so I'm flanking with Remy. Boop! So I'm flanking with Remy, please. Boop! All right. Boop! Uh, I, uh, can I have a black tie, please? I like how you say please sometimes. Ready? Well, they want to use really annoyed and really tired. Uh, I'm going to do one damage to Echo. Uh, actually, I do no damage because she has armor. <laughs> I love it. But Elfie's in your sphere of influence? No, she's not because she's in a... Oh, yeah. She's in a, another dimension. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do Mage Breaker. Mage Breaker! Uh, I cast Courage on myself. And I cast barrier so, on... And if you get Elfie out of the other dimension on her turn, then I get plus to my rolls. Does Twitch have barrier? Brage maker. I have... Twitch does not this have barrier. This me in a position where there's oh, nothing to me. do for me this turn. I rolled a seven. Does that hit? No. Yeah. So now she is going to move and attack the furthest opponent within range, which is actually you. Which is who? You. What do you know? That's you're moving. Oh, I'm moving the wrong person. It's Sorry. Sword. It's Mr. Sword. Sword. I don't know why I thought. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what you're. Oh, doing, brain man. fart. So she's gonna attack, and she rolls a green and a brew. So she's Anne, gonna, what's what's Mr. Sword's defense? He's gonna dodge, but I need to get the ten, and he'll dodge. And I, my um, could you could you grab his card? My, yeah. it, I'm uh, on the page, and it's not opening the files. Very frustrating. Uh, you need to dodge. He has 10 he defense. Uh, plus oh, five. my God. <laughs> so it's Holy three. Crap. So that's a 13. So it's beating it by six. Plus symbols. She heals six. Yay. And then she gets... There's nothing plus she can do. How many shields? One... Two, three, four. So yeah. plus eight damage. So 14. He has four armor. Yeah. So 10 damage. He has physical resistance to damage. So it's five damage. Five damage. He has four health. So he's dead. So he's dead. Bye, Mr. Sword. It was nice knowing you. 
I like Mr. Sword. Um, all right, so now it is Remy's turn. Right? Yep. Right. Oh, Rem right. dog. You're right. Rem dog millionaire. What you doing? You? Um, there's nothing really that makes sense for me to do this turn. So you could hit Echo. Uh, you can attack Echo. No, no right? Because she's got eight health. No, no, she's got thirty-one. How did she go from eight health to thirty-one? Health? I don't know where you thought she had eight health from. Yeah, I, I don't know. You heard. Eight. I asked Joshua, and Joshua said eight health. Joshua did not hear you, and he was referencing something else. Yeah, I'm... Nightingale has eight health. I said that at one point. That might have been what you heard. Okay. Because they gore shot and they do a damage to themselves. I said, all right, now they're at eight health. Yeah. And then I asked you, how much health does Echo have? And you said eight. So I didn't maybe hear you ever you ask that question, but I am so, sorry yeah, if you, you, you got know, that. That's good. That's good. Um... I would really like it if this file would open up. Is it the X file? <laughs> so what did I do last time? I you attacked and missed. Once. Sorry. You're at five SP. You're standing right next to her. What would you like to do? Swing away. Sounds good. So two teal and a black. She's gonna dodge. She's going to duck. And so then... I did 12. I'm going to re-roll that 5. Then I got a 4. So I missed. Me! So now she does what? She's going to run and attack Josh. And she rolls a blue and a green. Josh, what's your defense? Oh. <clears throat> The Nemesis tokens on her. She, everyone gets plus one to get rolls against her. Okay. Echo should have also dodged that. So. Dodge the Nemesis token. Dodge the Remy's attack. Okay. She did dodge. dodge my I attack. did dodge it. Oh, I said you? she's dodging, oh, and I, then I had I, chat I, roll a black die. I didn't hear. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she rolled a six, a twelve against you, Josh. Uh, that's just enough to hit. Is it? I have twelve defense. Oh. Uh, all right, so she has one shield, so plus two damage. Do you actually want to counter? That's, that's the question. Because <laughs> if I counter, she's, she's going to go gonna attack Twitch. Twitch. Yeah. They've only got eight health. Unless you hit her. And they're your main damage dealer to her right now. Yeah. Josh's attacks are caca, to say the least. They're just as good as Remy's. <clears throat> sure, caca. Um, but then <laughs> it, I'll, I'll be nice and not attack, I guess. <laughs> okay. Um, that's the end of your turn. Yeah. Or that's the end of Remy's turn. No, Remy still has no. Remy still SPL. actually, yeah, and she's and, still and adjacent range. to you if yeah. you want to attack again. Can I? Can I? Or does how does that work? Does she end my turn when she runs away? No, she just ends that action. Yeah, she ends that action, which means that if your attack had follow-ups, you wouldn't be able to do them. Could I... Oh. Where was she before? I was not flanking her. She no. was too north. And I can't flank her now because flanking would only be... It would be in this hindrance oh, terrain here. Or the obstructive terrain. Yep. If only you could flank that. with rocks. You noobs can't even flank with rocks. All right, and I can't reroll, so I can attack again, and I miss. So now they're going to attack Twitch anyways. Yep. All right. Just going to run there. And let's have them roll. So they're going to roll a green and a blue. Twitch have a dodge with their cloak, right? <clears throat> do they? Yeah. Yes, yeah. they do. All right, so they're going to roll for a dodge here. A dodgy dodge. Dodgy, 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 dodge. And they've got 13 defense, plus one, so that's 14. They rolled an 11, so it missed. Good. And she's still adjacent to you. 
She's out of SP. She oh, has okay. One SP left. Oh. So. Can you do anything with one SP? Um, I can move, right? And then it would trigger a break attack. It'll prove. And then I, I trigger a break attack, and I dodge it. I can counter it. You don't have any SP. She has a counter on her. Oh, then yes, technically you could. Did Echo ever take the aura of hate damage? No, she didn't. No, because she never went into the Twitch pewter before she moved, didn't she? No. Yes, that's right. Yeah, uh, that would have happened before. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Before you killed her, so. Yeah. She held up at full. So, Anne, what's the decision? And now I have the Ankh, right? Yep. So then I think it makes sense to try and trigger the break attack and counter, right? Sure. And then, if anything... <sighs> Where would she move if I miss? She'd attack Josh. Yep. But where, right, but where would she actually move? Like, what, Between where well, I guess we, we are now. Well, I it doesn't matter. It's, it's the attack goes first, so I have to declare where I'm moving, I guess. Where's the best place for me to intend to move? So, so okay, and then you're only, you're, that means it's a rock there, so I can't even really move to where it would flank. Correct. Well, you would but be moving already, so I, she would just go straight. So she would be right between where we're at. Now. Oh, yes, that's actually true. So she would go, she would go right here. So your intention to move would be to where she's actually standing. <laughs> doesn't make sense. <laughs> that doesn't really help. Uh, it would ha so if it helps, um, if you moved, and then she attacked you, or she did the counter and went after me, she would move there. Then you could finish your movement and go into the space she was occupying, and then you have your reach too, fair. so you would be flanking her, because I would be on the other side. Would it though? Because when she but would you be flanking? When she no, because does, I would still be two spaces away. Yep. But if Anne counters and misses, it ends the action. Yeah, her move would stop. So she wouldn't be able to move into that space. No, she would be one space down. So and then I can move a space me, if, over. If I there. hit and miss, would she still go into that same space in between Josh and I? Yep. So then we'd already be flanking. Uh, no, we're technically we wouldn't be flanking. Why? Because we're not on opposite sides of her. We're kind of like, you have to be direct opposites. So essentially what the problem is, is that when you move, it triggers an attack of opportunity, right? Right. If that you would then dodge and hopefully counter. If you then miss the counter, you would be in a space other than the one that she's in. She would end your action, which would mean you can no longer move. And then she would move to the space that is currently in between you and Josh. So you would not be able to flank her immediately. But what I'm, but, okay, but to that point, so what I'm saying is that there's a space between Josh and I. And if I fail my counter, then I don't move. She ends the action. I remain in that position. Doesn't she move in between Josh and I and then that's flanking? I don't understand. No, because you still need to move. You would still move whatever space you were moving into. Yeah. Because you provoked you, the break attack. You move your first hatch. space. You move your first one movement. Okay, it doesn't prevent me from moving, is what you're saying. It would it prevent, prevent you from, from rest of the finishing your movement action. So your first space that you move happens, then the break attack happens, and then it would potentially end. So I can't move straight up because she's there. Correct. Done. Okay, I'm going to be one to the right. Okay, so she's going to get a break attack against you. What's your defense? Oh, I missed my dodge, so it doesn't matter. Ten. She's going to explode She's you right back. now. <laughs> yep. Six and a... Six is on the high die. Oh, six to nine. 
So that's a 15. She heals three. And so that's 15. You have a defense of 10, so it's beating you by five. Plus it's got two shields, so it's another four damage, so it does nine damage. You ignore two physical damage plus another two physical. So it's five damage. You have, I have four two health. armor, three armor. So two damage. So two damage. So you have four health. No, I thought I had four health before that, so I have two health. Six health. You're at six health now. Oh, I had six health. Okay. All right. So that is the end of that. Right? Uh, no, she can continue moving. Oh, yeah, you can happened. continue moving. Where would you like to move to? No, I haven't dealt damage. I haven't dealt damage in two games. I'm very disheartened right now. I'm super salty. Um, so, I mean, where is most advantageous? I could just stop there. You could move here, so that way the next time it's your turn, you would be flanking. Or move one space up, you'd be flanking with yeah. with Nightingale. Yeah. And then you two would be the same distance, so when she ping pongs back and forth, yes. we can decide who she targets. Correct. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. All right, so now it is her turn. Echo's turn. Is there an opponent adjacent? Yes. Uh, make an attack. Versus who? It just says make an attack. Okay. Uh, Knight. Knight's got more health and more defense. Okay. So... Should, they use their dodge, so they don't have a dodge. A dirge. <laughs> Ermagerd, it's a dirge. Did you... The bonus for defense and flanking, that was specific to you, Matt? It's to a uh, piece of gear. The, the morbid uh, leather. The morbid you, have leather. Well. you have that, Anne. Uh, they rolled an 11, so it misses. Okay. Um, continue down. Are there two opponents within Sphere of Influence, and has Echo had at least 15 damage? She has not had 15 damage because she's healed. Okay. So that's it. That's it. Okay. All right. Um, now it is Feely's turn. Uh, you need to roll Black Diane. Roll that beef. Uh, two shields, two books. Uh, she pops out. So where does she pop out? Uh, adjacent to the soul stitcher. Can she do anything to help me out, Anne? So does she start with her 3 SP? Well, she gains 3 SP, yes. Is she at max, um, though? Do you have any effects on you, Matthew? Um... No, I have nothing on me. You could invigorate him. You would. You would like that. What does that mean? You get plus two SP. Uh, you'll get two SP. Yeah, oh. let's do that. Use invigorate. <laughs> um, is it going to attack me or is it going to attack? Me? Well, you Matt should goes first. kill it before it's, the end of the It's not. Gonna that's go. fine. Use invigorate. It'll give you two SP. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's okay. It uses all that. That's all she can do. All right. My that turn. was your turn, Matt. Okay. Thanks, Anne. Don't say I never did anything for you. You actually didn't? <laughs> All right. I'm going to use my false idol. Big bucks, no whammies. Oh, good. Hold a fucking three. Um, you Welcome are to in club home track. Mock two. Just by, so spend SP is additional. I know you're not using it right yeah, now. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah. All right. So I rolled a 12. 12 plus, plus two. two. Minus one because he's in hindrance. So that's plus one total. So that's 13. Which is just enough to hit. That is a hit. So I do five damage. Five damage. That's not 22, Matthew. I'm not done yet. All right. So then I'm going to tap my blade works and I'm going to go again. <laughs> uh, that's a 13. Plus two minus one. So that's 14. Beating it by one. So, so do six, six damage. damage. <laughs> um, I'm gonna. Bleh. 
Doesn't even make sense for me to move. I'm just going to attack. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, to move, it just... Yeah. It's going to cost you 2 SP, and then it's not going to help. That's 12, so that's 5 damage. Yep. Um, How much health left? 2. I'm going to throw my daggers at it. You're not going to do another attack? Oh, wait. I can spend an SP, and that does 2 damage. Let me read Muck real quick. You might need to spend 2 SP to do it. I'm okay with that. I just want to I have 2 it. SP. Yeah, I know you have it. I just He dead! Wonder where you got it from. Thanks, Anne. Kapow! Couldn't have done it without you. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh, support character sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Action and abilities that cost one SP or more to use. But it's... I think it only cost one. It's not an action or ability. It's like an extra. It's it's a it's on my ability. But it's not like the cost for your ability on the side. The XP cost. It's like you may spend one additional. Okay. I don't. It doesn't really matter too much. Whatever. So he dies. He dead. There's no text or anything. Oh, we get loot. We get loot. And now you guys could finish your work. Go beat up. That's the end of my turn. I spend all my SP. Okay. Oh, let's get so there. So now it's Nightingale's turn? It yeah, is gold. Nightingale's turn. Get out of here, Soul Stitcher card. No one likes you, and you're no one's friend. Okay. All right, so it's Nightingale's turn. She is going to Doom Break. Doom! And say it. No. <clears throat> I actually think they could actually probably hit it harder with just with their a normal attack than their thing, because they're all two red dice. Yeah. And they're flanking it right now. Mm -hmm. No, there is no hidden trigger text for Soul Stitcher. Uh, the Doom Break does not break. Yay. Uh, so, yeah, I think I agree with you there. I think it's best to actually hit with the spear. And then it's going to run and hit me, and then they can pew it. Right. It runs away. Right. Uh, okay, so it's 2 SP, though, right? Or no, it's 1 SP, because their ability lets them spend 1 less SP. Yeah, once. So, yes. Right. So... They spend an SP, and they're going to roll two red dice. And she's going to roll a black die. She rolls a black die to dodge. And they're not in hindrance terrain, right? They are and not in hindrance terrain. Next to them. And her defense is 13. They get plus one to their roll. Yep. And they rolled a... 12. Plus one, 13. Plus 13. That's she a hit. rolled four books. So That's a hit. hit. Okay, cool. Uh, what do they get for symbols? Two um, books. Each two book set gives them two damage. So two plus three is five damage. Where are you getting... They have two books. Where are you book getting... Book on the seven, one book on the five. But what's plus... Oh, plus three for flanking. For, yeah, for flanking. Uh, and she's got two armor. So yeah. it's five damage. Is the books magic damage or regular damage? On the... Magic damage. Okay. Does it matter? Um, not for this. Yeah. Because... So five damage. It's the same as if they pewed, but they didn't lose a health. It's only three damage. Because of two armor. They don't have armor pierce. Oh. So it was worse than their pew. Slightly worse, but it was a really bad roll, too. Yeah. Um, but they used their blood ring... They can use their blood ring. The and they heal too. Okay. Uh, let's do, clear that out. So now they'll pew. Right? Right. Cause she doesn't... Magic does ignore armor, but the other damage was physical. So yeah. You only do one physical damage from that. Right. Um, so they're going to pew. So it's red against two greens. Wanna get physical, physical. Throw the four. Ugh. That is a ten against a fourteen. So I think this is a decent. Would it be eight to roll a drat. Um, I think they bank this one. Yeah. Okay, so we'll get another token. And let's do it again. Pew 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 pew. 
two, three. So they have two SP left. They still have their their ability, so they can gain. Two? Yes. After, after this one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're at two tokens right now. Oh. Oh my Lanta. Okay. So. That's really ugly. They didn't get this one. Nope. Not worth a reroll. Um. So, one more SP after this roll. What's Echo's health up? Thirty-one. You guys keep rolling stars for her. Do you guys need me to come over there and finish this? Might. Oh my god, Matthew. <laughs> uh, 10 against 12. They use Brea and they hit it. Yeah. Okay. So 5 damage, Joshua. And they're going to take a damage. Okay. And last SP. And then the question for you, Chad, is do you want to use your ability? Now is the time to use it. Time to change your use it. Meow, 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 mix. <laughs> I think now is a good time to use it. You're right. Uh, what's with these rolls, guys? Can you roll not a four? It's a ten against a thirteen, but they still have the dress. So I think now is a dress, right? They can roll seven or higher. Well, yeah, use the dress because they roll... A five or higher, they use their both tokens. Their two tokens. Yes, they're both tokens. Both tokens. <laughs> oh. toad. And they rolled a. Eight. Much better. So they hit. Josh, five damage. I'm telling it to you like KDM, but, you know. So now they're going to use their ability. They okay. gain two SP. Everyone else gains one SP. And let's have them pew again! And say pew, pew, pew. Does it say all adventurers, or does it say all allies? Allies. All right. So Mr. S Mr. Uh, Alfie, not Mr. Sword. There's Bag of organs. Joey Bag of organs. And that is a 11 against a 12. So they can spend one token. token. They do five damage. They do five damage. So Anne, she's at 16 now. They get one last Thank you. Shot. And they get one last pew. One last pew. One last pew. 16 is reasonable. 16 is reasonable. I do like three times that in one a turn. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay, so it's a 10 against an 11. They've got one token. So use it. They spend it. It hits. She's down to 11 health. Six. All right. So this is where Josh, you and Anne yes. keep missing, and then she triggers her counterattacks, and then she Damn. rolls a bunch of stars and heals a shitload. Right? Uh, does Twitch have anything that gives them SP? Any consumables? Um, I don't know. I think they use a lot of their consumables. Oh, they actually have two more defense. No, that's a different item. That's a different core. That's their old core. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, no. No, they don't. Okay. All right. So now it is Rook's turn. All right. Take a Rook. It's in a Rook. Oh, they do one more damage. Why? Because Nemesis token when they attacked. Yes, you're right. So she's down to 10 even. So, Josh, if you go and attack her now, when she moves, she's not going to move. She's yep. just going to stay there and smack Why? her. Why? Because you'll all be equidistant oh, away from her. The... Yep. And then uh, yeah. she can, we just go back and forth. Uh, so, yeah, move me next turn. It's unfortunate, though, because you won't get the um, flanking bonus. I'll put courage on Anne because I'm probably going to miss. Thanks. Me too. Well, maybe that Let's was flanking. That. So, blah. Oh, I heal one. I'll do that in a second. All right. I'm going to attack. She dodges. I rolled a six. <laughs> Missed. Uh, so she's going to attack you. Okay. It makes most sense to just keep attacking yeah, you now. Fine. Because um, you've got the most health and the most armor and the most defense. Uh, Not the most defense. More defense the they have more defense. For whatever reason, the mage has the most defense on our team. they got that new core. I know, I know. It's just funny. Ugh. Oh. Video game voyeur going for the kill shot. 
That is a 16, Josh. Oh, she didn't roll a star, though. No star, that's good. 16, okay. Plus three shields, so that's plus six damage. So 16, I'm at a defense of 12, so it's beating me by four. Plus six, plus so six. 10. It's 10. Um, when you dealt physical damage from an attack, ignore all physical damage dealt to you. Yeah, let's do it. I'm just going to use my once per encounter to okay. ignore it. Because otherwise, it's I take out six. I take four damage. Are you countering? Yeah, let's counter. Why would you even bother asking? Because uh, he's doing a better job healing her than he is of hitting her. Ten. She's hitting you back. I know. This is what happens when the counter build hits a slightly better counter build. <laughs> Seven. Six. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. What's your defense? Um, Twelve. So beating you by one, then it does four extra damage, so five damage total. You have six armor, so it does nothing. Yep. What are you doing? Try, okay, try one more time. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. Nice. 15. Okay. She's got 13 defense, so that hits. Um, so you're beating it by two. Beat it by two. I get plus one for Nemesis. Three. My star gives me another plus one to my roll. Four. Uh, so beating it by four. Uh, I get another four damage for my shields. So eight. Eight. She's got two armor, so six damage. Yep. Okay, she's at four health. Can you do it, Joshy? My last two SP. Good there roll! Go. Yeah! Did, did you do it? What did he roll? I rolled a 15, plus one, so that's 16. Okay, beating it by three. Uh, Nemesis is another plus one. Four. Uh, plus another four damage from my shields. Eight. Minus two. Six. Yeah! Six is greater than four. Yeah, we killed it. We killed it. We killed it. Hooray. Um, let me just see. The, I need to not read that or anything. Echo grasps at the horrible gash in her side. The wound looks fatal, but she still stands. Each party member gains one XP. Restore adventurers. Do we have the story flag reluctant partnership? We do. Continue to Lost yeah. Love on page 348. But we're going to read that next time, folks. Thank you all for joining us today. This is going to conclude today's episode of Twitch Plays Madara. Make sure you join us next week, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Maybe a little bit earlier. We'll see. We'll let you know. But we'll get into that in a second. Uh, to roll some more, hit some more stuff, things. It's happening. Join us tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, for our continuation of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death, where we're fighting a... Uh, DBK, level three. Oh, like the hardest fight in the game? Yeah. The hardest base monster How did in the your game. butcher fight go? Oh, we're good. We won. We won. We have a very ridiculously overpowered team. We took the B team to fight the butcher, and we beat it fairly handily. So, that is very okay. Our starting, like, our, our A team survivors, and are silly. To the point where I think any two of them could basically take out most monsters in the game by themselves. Right, Josh? Perfect, you... perfect Slayer guy and Vespertine Bow guy can pretty much go out and just, like, plop, face. We're just really, we're just really good at this. You know. We're just, we're good. Uh, but to know what time everything's starting, get the latest deets on what's happening with Twist Gaming and anything else that you want to hear about our lives, like uh, me ranting about Chinese food, make sure that you follow us on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and chat with us in our Discord channel where... Sometimes we talk about the various delivery food options. None of them are very good. Just throwing that out there. Mm. Uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you've got Prime Gaming, which means you get one free sub every month. We'd love it if you used it on us. Uh, and if you could take any one sub and make it into a pizza, which sub would it be? Pizza. 
and you're not allowed An to say sub. you're not allowed to say meatball sub. <laughs> no. An Italian with like salami and provolone. Philly cheese stick. It's the same thing. I mean, it's it's meat and cheese on bread, I guess. But an Italian's like, you got the the dressing. You got like slightly different meats. Like you don't typically put like salami and capicola. On oh, this pizza. is this is a different. Yeah, I hate capicola. You mean um, gabagool? This is a different kind of Italian something. Gabagool. Oh. No, no, it's not gabagool. You know what? Uh, that's that's what Italian turkeys eat. Chicken bacon ranch. That'd probably be really good no, on a pizza. Like that. Actually, that's a good. Yeah. That's good. I'm there with that one. Josh, you were saying Philly cheesesteak, and I know they make Philly cheesesteak pizza, so that's not too far fetched. But I I don't think I've had a good Philly cheesesteak pizza. You know? Is it made with cheese? Was though? Probably not. That's probably what's wrong. You know, I feel like that's something, because like, I think the only Philly cheesesteak pizza I've had is like Domino's Philly cheesesteak pizza. Domino's isn't pizza. Uh, it is, but it's not. <laughs> I think that's something I'm going to do, though. I'm going to I'm gonna make some fathead dough, and I'm going to make a Philly cheesesteak pizza. Okay. I'm excited now. I, I haven't tried my new pizza oven yet, so okay. i got to do that. All right, so I have a quick update before we end this. Up, dude! So I collected all the gold. We collected a shit ton of gold since the last um, shop phase. Is it a metric or an imperial shit ton? Uh, we got 755 gold. Okay, that's a lot. Which is 188 gold per player. That's a lot. So I have two. 200- wait, wait, wait. How did you? Oh, because there you. There's more than four people now. Before. Do any? Who? Wait, who owed money to people? We paid everyone back. Yeah. yeah. I I actually paid everyone back when I when we did the shop phase last time. I did the uh, the reparations. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so Rook has 275 gold and four XP. Okay. Remy has 319 gold oh. and 18 XP. 18? That's what I was asking. Uh, What the hell have you been saving those up for? (laughs) No, I feel like I missed the shop phase. She did miss shop phase, and I said in chat, I'm like, hey, you can get new skills, and she never responded. That's true. That's true. Um, Nightingale has 277 gold and 16 SP, so they can get their last um, level. Crore. Crore, which is going to up their gore shot. Nice. Um... Zeke has 206 gold with 8 XP. And XP, right? 8. Oh, 8 XP. Yep. Okay. Um, I have a really dumb ability I'm so excited to get. Yeah. And there's this uh, ability for Zeke that is on my radar where basically it's each successive attack you make add plus damage. (laughs) When is the next shop phase? It's after we read some story. So, oh, so it is coming up. Yeah, yeah so okay. next That's session next session for everyone listening is going to be uh, story time, shop phase, and then Abraxas! Oh, good. I'm excited. Yeah, Josh sent me a couple of weapons that I should look at, and I definitely know which one that I want already. And it's called um, the Spectral Banner, and I want it to replace my polearm. And basically, this special... The Polax has an ability that I never use, which is swap places with the um, person you're attacking. The upgraded spectral banner, first of all, it's two blue die instead of teal die. So that needs to happen. Oh, that's huge. And then, yeah. Choose another ally within sphere of influence. When making an attack, you are considered to be attacking from the space of your chosen that your chosen ally occupies now if i did that does that mean that if there was an ally that was flanking and i wasn't i would i would still get the flanking bonus right correct because you're using that that's that's cool yeah that's that's can i buy my dagger that i want josh um or not yet not sure if you have the money uh if you sell some gear you might have the money yes there's an upgrade to one of my daggers and i'm super stoked as if I didn't kill enough shit. <laughs> 54 bucks left. All right. So I think that's it for everything. Uh, Anne, is there anything that you want to say to our fine viewers at home? No, I think that that's about it. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I really appreciate it. Much appreciated. Uh, with that, this is going to be Twist Gaming signing off. I'm Matt. I'm Anne. I'm Josh. Give us a catchphrase, Josh. Banana. Don't forget to spray under your bed.